Okay, so if you're interested to learn how to play Fear, we're going to talk about it in a few different sections. I'm going to go through it in as much detail as I can, and, and you can find the tabs uh, not only in the video as I play, but you can download them from the link as well. And if you're interested to learn more about uh, the music that I have written, then please let me know because I would like to make some more of these videos. So we're going to dive straight into the intro, which is using a multitude of different uh, techniques, actually. The very first thing we're going to do is do a slap with our thumb. Slapping on string six is harder than it looks. And a lot of it is in the, the wrist movement uh, rather than using your elbow to attack the string like this. So really try and twist your thumb. At first it's gonna sound like this. But you need to get some kind of snap back where you hit the string and then immediately get your thumb away from the string again. Try it a few times, you'll find your way. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be doing is a hammer on with a B, well, with the capo on, uh, we're actually playing C sharp five, but I will talk about the chords from here on out as if the capo wasn't there. Um, so this would be a B five uh, power chord, but because it's together with this E bass note, we actually end up with this chord, which is called E minor nine. If you play the open string three as well, it sounds very mysterious and a little bit like fear itself. That was kind of the, the draw of that chord in the first place. So after the hammer-ons, we're going to do something called a little harmonic. Now around fret uh, 14, uh, actual 14, compared to the capo, it's fret 12. We're just going to tap lightly across the strings tapping my middle finger in this case, just hitting the strings and then immediately snapping back, just like we did with, with the slap. We're doing the same with the harmonic. Now hopefully, if you're around fret 12, you should hear this chiming sound. You can also find it in different frets. So as you move around, you can get different sounds. Uh, and I kind of never really aim for exactly the same place every time. So I get a variation of different harmonics. So we've got the slap, the hammer-on, and the harmonic, followed by another set of two hammer-ons. And we put that together. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is some percussion. Okay, now the if you'd like to know more about percussion in more detail, then you can, um, you can find in the link in the description uh, I have a, a whole course. It's a two month course. It should take at least two months for you to, to go through all the materials and practice it. And I go through step by step everything that you need to know to be able to add this style of guitar percussion to, to any song that you want to learn. Uh, so check out the link. And if you have any specific questions, then of course, let me know in the comments. But what I'm doing here is a kick sound twice, followed by what I would call a snare sound. So you've got a low frequency and then a high frequency. So all of that together. Okay, and that's everything slowed right down. Okay, now there are some times when my fingers kind of touch the strings on the way back up. And I do another slap as well, so dun, 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 dun. So I kind of do different variations of it. You're more than welcome to try and do whatever you like yourself. And sometimes after the harmonic, I kind of scuff the strings on the way up to get like an extra little strum. Yeah, so it's like ding, 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 ding. And then a little kind of strum in between before I do the hammer on again. Okay, now the next chord is all doing the same techniques, but we're going to be playing fret uh, 10 in relation to the capo fret 8. Okay, so we've got a bass note on fret 8. The first finger is going to hammer on to fret 7, and then the little finger is going to hammer on to fret 10. So, doom. and you've essentially got a C chord, uh, a C no 5 actually. Again, I'm talking about the chords as if the capo wasn't there. Okay, it's actually a D no five chord. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same technique here. So back down to the E minor. And then I'm gonna go up to fret 10 in relation to the capo, uh, two frets higher than the C chord we just did, exactly the same shape. And that's it, that's the intro. So we got this E minor, C, E minor, D. Now I don't play it exactly that way, I'll, I'll just sort of show you quickly uh, what I would do. There's like little differences and I, I kind of play the song different every time. Uh, with the little tiny little percussion parts so i invite you to to practice the, the the standard version of it and then let it evolve for you for yourself as you go along now as the verse comes in it's the same thing as the intro the greek call me Romeo. all of that stuff everything's the same up until the end of the verse uh, where we're actually going to do a g version of this chord Okay, so just on fret three, the same shape as we were doing up here with fret eight and fret 10. And then we go to a B minor chord. Uh, in fact, a B minor seven. Okay, which leads us into the bridge. Now this is much more straightforward. We've got some bar chords, E minor, D and G. Again, with the capo being on there, we're actually playing F sharp minor, E and A. Okay, and while I play these chords with this kind of strumming pattern, I just have the percussion underneath. Now you'll notice that I'm playing my bar chords with my thumb over the top. Um, I very much dislike playing my bar chords this way, so I never really do it. I usually use my finger to block, uh, to hold the first three or four strings, and my thumb takes care of the lowest note. Or I might play my, my bar chords like this, using my little finger to bar here instead of these three fingers. So I'll leave that up to you and what you'd like to do. Okay, and that's basically the bridge. And then we're going to lead into C sus2 and we're going to do a little bit of a modal mixture and play E flat major 7 to A minor add 11. Now I kind of found these two chords by accident but um, with like going through the, the chord theory of this because we're, we're the, the chorus is heading into the key of G again with the kappa being on we're, ha we're actually heading into the key of A but because uh, if I think of it in the key of G, we've got a very standard chord progression for the chorus. So this E flat major seven is actually a chord from the key of G minor or from the minor version of the key. So it's a little bit, adds a little bit of an extra flavor before we l load into the chorus, which is gonna be just G major, E minor seven, uh, e minor 9, okay, and then C add 9, and D, and in fact D sus 4 as well. And you can kind of play those chords any way you like. I kind of, with the G chord, I tend to add string 3 as well with my first finger. And then E minor, and then that note on string 1, uh, my middle finger just moves over to string 1 to get this ninth note here. It's a to C add nine to D. Now hopefully you can just follow that strumming pattern um, but it's it's basically like down, up down, up down, up down, up down, down, up down, up down, up down, da 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 to slow down is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. It's a pretty standard um, strumming pattern. If, you, if you're familiar with strumming the guitar, you've probably used this already a few times. Okay, and that's basically the, our intro, our bridge, and the chorus. Now it goes back into another verse, 
and back into another bridge, back into another chorus before heading into the kind of strange middle eight, even though it's more than eight bars. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing C7, so on fret uh, eight in comparison to the capo, C7. Then we're going to play this funky chord called D over C. And then we're going to play B minor at 11, and then B7. Okay, so C7, D over C, B minor at 11, D7. Okay, which leads into the next section of this middle eight, which is going to be uh, strummed chords C at 9, D, B minor. C add 9 again, then we do that same thing, C add 9, D, B minor, and then we do a key change to E, this E major chord, and then we're going to change key again, up a semitone to F, which leads us into this next section uh, where I'm palm muting and playing the chords like this. So we're going to be playing And you could fall to earth from higher oh. D minor Then we go to B flat sus 2 And then I usually play a C over G here And then we do a key change up a tone And I use this version of the D chord which is essentially a C over G but moved up two frets and then we jump back into another chorus, which is just G, E minor, C, and D. And at the very end of the song, one more time, we go through the intro again, which uh, is using, again, exactly the same process as before. The, the E minors, the Cs, E minor, and D. The intro section uh, is one kind of thing on its own. The, the bridge section where we have the the bar chords like this. That shouldn't be too hard to play. It's just the percussion that, that adds the added element of um, complication. Hopefully with bar chords you should be able to play them already and you should have no problem navigating your way through the chords. The chorus is super duper easy. Okay. And then the middle eight again with the percussion. It's the same as the, um, the the bridge, the percussion. And then everything else is kind of strapped. So if you have any questions about this song, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, you can get access to the tab that I have prepared for this. Uh, if you would like to um, download that, please do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, Fear is officially coming out as a single. Uh, the new sort of 10th anniversary edition um, was actually recorded a, a few years ago, but uh, it was never released until now. Now it's like the definitive version of the song. It has, uh, you know, it has strings, it has uh, extra guitar, harmonies, ev everything that it didn't have on the album version of the song. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead. You could fall to earth from